Geeky Man Bites Media fans. This is the team, and we are all here together with William Phoenix, <laughs> Louis Lacal, Nisha Amir Geek Mom, aka and Nisha T. Molchan, Joe T. Ramdad from Diversely Geek, and a lot of amazing people. Y'all want to give a real quick shout out? Say hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> You can give us your names. That would be amazing. I'm Lizzie. Astrid. Aaron. Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, so we have lots of guests joining us um, that were here with us for different points of the convention. So Summer lots of fun. Summer yeah, newbies. definitely. Yeah. Any any first, first timers? timers? Yeah, one. I've only oh, watched the podcast <laughs> twice. Oh, really? Two. Oh, yeah, yeah, two yeah, yeah, first timers. Yeah. It's my first. All right. Isn't that the most amazing thing? It's your first convention, isn't it? Yeah, it's my first convention. So we have an actual real first timer here. No, two. We got another oh, one. First mega gun. First mega gun. Oh, okay. No, he's he's he's, he's experienced in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> but you're a first time con goer yeah. at all, right? John? Yeah. No, we have a first time, a first convention. Yeah. This is gonna be oh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to put you in the shiny, shiny, shiny. shiny. No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, obviously Screw we're here no. at MegaCon 2019 <laughs> doing our wrap up of uh, our well post con experience. We're gonna talk about. Lots of different things uh, that we usually do, which is our favorites, you know, things to improve on, things that we enjoyed most in terms of experiences, and then also artworks, great finds. So, as you can see, there's obviously stuff on the table here. That's because Mr. Lewis Cow over here. I can't help myself. Couldn't he help wins. himself. Oh, and you don't know how much is still under here. Okay, <laughs> just say it. Just say yeah. it. But they're beautiful pieces, and that's one of the great things about MegaCon is that when you come out here, you actually enjoy all these artists and all their renditions and, and their visual aspects of what they want to grab from the fandoms and make it their own, which is so interesting. Like some of these artworks, the detail on them is excellent. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And every time I come to a con, it's so hard oh to God. not buy everything. <laughs> I know, right? Do you have it's the like, Iron Man one down there? Yes, I do. He does. He doesn't have covered. It? <laughs> no, so, <laughs> you cannot see it. I'm sorry. Why don't we start out with um? Which that is. What do I'm going to ask? I'm going to ask. That is the girl sees it. I'm holding. Oh no no! I want to I want to improve the table. No. We're doing something. Stop Children. Jumping. So Children. what do we what do we all think? I think we we can start out with um, obviously MegaCon's had some some changes back and forth each year. Now for any of us who who have been here previously to MegaCon, what do we think about this year specifically? The setup, the the layout, and 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 things that that we liked about it, and things that we maybe could have. Uh, we, we think maybe could have been done differently or changed kind of maybe how it was done oh, in the past. Oh, and it's open forum. I have so much to okay. say. Okay, you guys want to start <laughs> down? Well, Obviously, y'all first. The professionals first. Constructive, constructive. criticism. <laughs> um, nothing to tear anyone down here. I think the flow was well done. The The way that the lines moved were very well done. Um, the way that they organized this con when it came to the lines, it was very much, there wasn't long lines to get into the con, which was saying oh, a mean outside. lot. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. For, for a Saturday night, as uh, Saturday during the day, as many people that came, we didn't wait out there maybe 15, 20 minutes, which was very impressive. And then I'm as soon as we in. got in, entrance? Yeah. yeah, he's talking about entrance. I mean, with the exception of the bag check that, that William had to endure for like a good 20, 30 minutes. Saturday morning at Saturday Megacon. Saturday was crazy. Two people doing prop <laughs> checks. <laughs> the line, as soon as you walked in from outside, the line for prop checks started right there. I don't know yeah. why. I just walked right in. It took, it took, it took long enough to get my prop check prop. and anything else. No, no, kind of I, had a no, I mean, like, there was no line. I just walked in. <laughs> so yeah. then the experience was a little bit different for us because we just walked straight in because we had had that pre check. They yeah. had the RFID codes this time, so because we had pre checked. Uh, it, we could just easily walk straight in. There was no having to check outside for us. What was different is we had to get our bis disability um, tags this time, and that was a I will say uh, much construct- more difficult thing than it's been. <laughs> Nobody knew. ADA. Oh my God. It was an adventure find then. The whole ADA experience definitely not on par with years past, past whatsoever. Yeah. Honestly, it was basically like there was none. The the only the only uh, upside this year was that there was that complimentary uh, companion pass with having an ADA um, sticker but otherwise that was it that was it there was not actually pretty much nothing else yeah unfortunately the staff didn't really know so that's okay 
I mean, they'll learn, hopefully, for the next Yeah, time. I mean, in years past, it has been better. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, I know that the outside experience, like, walking around and in and out, Anybody that was else? something that wasn't exactly uh, very... Well, okay. Okay, here you go. <laughs> I've been going for years and years and years and years because I've lived here all my life, and this is, like, my 12th or... She's our seasoned veteran. <laughs> not not only only fifth year of going the entire event right. from all four days. All four days. Gotcha. But um, you're old. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> old. I'm older than anybody here. Okay, so uh, no, nope, not older than me. Remember, that's we're right. the same we age. That, you and I are totally. We on just par. look too young. Um, <laughs> So, uh, actually, I was later than I wanted to be on Thursday because I picked up my premium pass. And um, because I didn't get here till like 2.30, Ooh, there was like girl. no line, actually, because everybody that was here that could get in at 2. Was here. So yeah. I have no idea how that process would have been. I just came right in, just came right in, just went right in. Went right, everything I did was just bam, bam, bam. I was like, thank you. But the whole scanning thing was weird. And people were really bothered by the fact that they had to be scanned every time they come in and out. And someone even mentioned that, yeah, our, our, our passes went up like 10 bucks or something. Like, that's probably where that money went. It's was the RFID that, process. For them checking yeah. you, coming in and out. So it's not a new convention experience doing the scanning, because San Diego Comic Con does yeah. it. But New I will York say, Comic-Con New York Comic-Con 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 as well. It, but it's mm-hmm. very different and much more efficient. But the website worked much quicker to when I purchased my pass like months ago. Yeah, it was very, like it was very quick. Very it was waiting on me, not the other way around. And then I'll get to the ticket thing in a minute, but I had to buy a ticket while I was here for a show. And I did that, like I got through right away. I was like, sweet, it worked. So, and the app was working. And I actually, yes. I have like a Samsung 9. Yes. But I have a phone now that actually gets service in the building, so that's been an update. Service you know. was there was so much more service this year. Yeah, so much reception. And then I there actually didn't get it on the floor the sometimes, and I'd be shocked. I forgot how this is like. Last year was my first year I could get online and actually post something. This is the first year that I was online almost the entire yeah, time. Anytime I wanted to be, yep. I could get online if you. my battery would let me. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so also. Um, just saying, this has kind of been going around a little bit too. Obviously, this will be a thing now. I've paid to see like a Kevin Smith show or um, like a special ticket at events in advance. And they did mention in advance at these, but I didn't pay attention that the panel for Back to the Future on Friday night was going to be, it's just a $20 it ticket. Only. And I think people were trying to explain that to me. Like I'm like, I'm not buying a package deal. So I don't need to worry about that. It's like, no, that's a ticket. I planned on seeing Linda Carter. I did not because I didn't factor it in. And I'm, I'm like on, I'm grounded. I'm not allowed to spend any money and still $105 <laughs> happened without being allowed at all. So uh, go, go figure. That's part so of the con experience. I did not buy the Linda Carter ticket and I missed her. And that's obviously going to be a thing now. And I'm not happy about that. I'd Agreed. rather the past just go Agreed. up like 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever, but maybe not because I go to Florida Film Fest every year and when I was talking about it in the pass with a group of the people that were going to mm-hmm. Megacon, they were saying, you know, y'all's passes kept getting another hundred, another hundred, and you didn't want them to be that much. We brought the prices back down and then charged $50 for the two celebrity events. Mm-hmm. Just like general guests would have yeah, to pay, your pass doesn't include those celebrity right. events so that you can make up your mind because maybe you don't want to go to those panels. Right. You don't want the pass to go up in price, you want the choice. Yeah. So I can understand that, that they okay. want the choice, but to me, I'm just thinking, do not advertise who's gonna be at the thing, and they're like, oh, but you gotta pay to see them, pay to see them, pay to see them, and you're like, dude. That makes sense. Right, I, I right. didn't think of it that way. I, I did have a qualm with that, but I didn't think of it as a, well. But it was only 20 bucks, it's not that bad, but it, if true. it starts at only, think of what it's gonna get to be, Sometime like five years future. from now, they're going to be charging like 50, 60 bucks to go see whoever the select. Don't advertise your main event, and your main event is an extra ticket because there's all sorts of extra tickets in a package. Here. That's just my, my whiny complaint. That's like my biggest complaint. <laughs> I mean, I, I totally get where you're coming from, but, and, and you ladies having gone to San Diego may be on the Oh, that's me. Yeah. It's like having gone to New York, New York Comic Con twice again and going again this year. To me, what they did at Megacon reflects very much how they do New York Comic Con mm-hmm. because they will have like their main guests and they will have all their celebrities, but then um, they will have also off property, off site, mm-hmm. like, yeah. like just the Hulu yeah. theater, and some of them you have to pay to get in. Yeah, off site. Some of them 
you Upside, like, yeah. it's still included, but like you, it's first come first serve, so you may end up spending half of your day just waiting yeah, in line, just waiting to get in line to present to the panel. Which I have to so, say, I do like that they kept it close enough, still at least. They did because you know it's everything's like in the vicinity by New York standards. It's in the vicinity. Um, I did like the passes over the bracelets this year yes. because yes. as cosplayers, yes. we don't always have long sleeves. So I hate when like I see like pictures that I take, whether it's it professional week. or just with friends, and we all have a like, you know, if I do John Hammond, I got short sleeves, I got to figure out a way to like not have the little thing. Yeah. With the passes, I was able to incorporate, to hide it, yeah, to hide put it in my pocket. I enjoyed it, and, and the RFID thing, having gone to New York, something that it's new here, but not new to me, and and I liked it because it wasn't again, bad. I think eventually there wasn't a line to get out. There wasn't anything. There but wasn't. How about there, you there guys were very efficient. Yeah. How about issues. Issues. <laughs> so these two is their first experiences. They don't know any different. They so did you? Uh, I've been in New York Comic Con the last ten years. Okay, so, so you so, like the vibe. Yeah, <laughs> so you know. Yeah, I know about. We knew already. They've been changing like. a lot of things here in the south. I want to like to say that because they come in. The New York Comic Con yeah. and the uh, San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So that's like, good. I mean, I like it. I mean, I was working, actually, this is my first Mayor Con. I'm wor- I was working here. You were cool. So I'm cool. <laughs> so I criticized Exhibitor. a little bit about the ticketing thing because the people printing the ticket, but they had to go to get the, t- the badge. Yeah. So yeah. probably in the, in the future, they can do just scan the ticket and give it a wristband. They're part gonna of be, that, for me, they're going to be awesome. Part of that scanning, though, is like they would verify my name, Elizabeth, and I'd say yes. I'm like, ah. And if I had give, loaned my pass to a dude, meh, it wouldn't matter. Would have been and that's actually so that, why. And they can ask you for your ID if they want. That to. is why they're yeah. doing it. Just yeah, so you know, true. it's exactly what so it is because people would bash me so much. Jonathan, I know yeah. it's your yeah. first yeah. convention ever, so yeah. Yeah. not really too much experience to go on in terms of no, an event. It. And I only came on the Sunday with you guys. And I think we came, no, we came when it opened. Yeah, right? we came yeah, at really. opened. Um, but because it was the Sunday, the last day, um, didn't find we had any real lines to wait in. We walked right in. Um, I wouldn't have known any different if I'm scanning or not, because I wasn't there before. <laughs> um, but it was, it was a really neat experience. And, you know, seeing some great actors and, you know, really awesome costume cosplayers and, you know, really cool uh, buys that you know that we all got. It, it was really, it was neat. I so would have liked to see a little more stitch, but that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Personal preference. So speaking of uh, favorite favorite finds and favorite uh, well experiences, what are we? I know we we probably have all completely different uh, experiences. Thanks, and finds. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just saying it was ridiculous, but I didn't my, even my get Saturday to see. My Saturday was like I've only been cosplaying for about a couple of years, and and it's usually been very basic, very easy put together, one cosplay per day, and call it a day. Saturday, not only did I double up on my cosplays, I tripled up on my cosplays. I came in as Fat Thor, and then I brought um, Jacob Kowalski in a bag, and then I put. Bane in Jacob Kowalski's suitcase. <laughs> so I ended up going Thor, Kowalski, Bane, Kowalski, Bane, Kowalski. That's how you did it. That's how I did it. <laughs> oh my god. Because when I do when I do Bane, it's like I do like kind of like corporate Bane where he's got like the nice shirt and the tie and whatnot. So I wore the suspenders all day underneath Kowalski. So then when I took Kowalski's jacket off and his uh, vest, I already had the suspenders on. I had to throw on the mask, or throw on the under mask, throw on the mask, put on the gloves. I was bad. Yeah. I didn't bring the gun. I didn't bring my usual sign because I'm like, that's just too, too much stuff that I got to bring. That's a lot to but, carry. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I ended up being invited to a photo op with uh, David Tennant yes. and John Barrowman. That's and as guys. soon as we walked in, oh my God, that was Tennant looks, and I was the second one in line in my group, and the girl Brandy goes straight to Barrowman. <laughs> Tenant sees the axe that I have, and he just gravitates to it. And I'm like, I can't tell. I, I'm not going to tell the 10th doctor no. He's like, he's my favorite doctor. I'm not going to tell him no. He's like, can I hold it? I'm like, yes, you can. Anything else you want to hold. That was yours. That was your experience. You so what, was great, what was great is like, we well, just did the picture, and he's like, he's like, okay, you know, you guys can go. And I just looked at Tenant, and I went, but I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> did you say that? Actually? I did. Oh, and he just looked at me like, ah. 
<laughs> yes. So we actually shared the same picture, and that's probably my favorite moment of the con was being dressed up like Alex from A Clockwork Orange with the penis mask and everything. And as soon as Barrowman saw me, he's like, "You're standing next to me," and he goes, "Where are you gonna put that penis?" And I was like, it's going in your ear. It's the or- only orifice that I could put it in without being explicit. And he's like, please do. And he, he just took the picture with the penis right yes, in his ear. Yes, he did. And he was like, I like your penis. We have to blur, <laughs> we have to beep this out for all of our family-friendly watch. I mean, there was no curse. Yeah, exactly. I'm it's just not. kidding. I am kidding. I am kidding. But, oh it's a God. real Hilarious penis. picture. I, uh, I yeah. Penis. 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 Wanted my penis. <laughs> Is Which awesome. is not a not that family awesome. family oh, friendly word. That's getting bleeped out. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're me? saying <laughs> it medically. Oh, no, no, you can leave so it like the bad it's a bad media <laughs> side of it, but the DG will be like, okay, let me see. What, well, is, my I communi- think... what is my communications director saying? I oh. say it's the medically accurate term, so it's fine. <laughs> Um. One, one, thing, one thing that I absolutely love too is like having come to conventions already. I like you know there's people that are here for the first time, or the first megacon or whatever, and also bringing friends to meet celebrities that I have never met before. Yeah. And I got to meet Dan Fogler <laughs> back in New York Comic Con, and then he was here again this weekend. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And my original queenie Serafima oh, had not gotten to meet him yet, oh. so she she's the one oh, that's like, can you? Okay. This is why I brought Jacob was for her. Yeah. So watching her, like I, I'm, I'm talking to Dan, but I'm like watching her, and like seeing this like first emotions and and everything. Oh, and I'll give, I will, I will give her. She kept it together the entire time, which was great. As soon and as the she moment, away. the moment she steps away, <laughs> five feet after, she's just, and just loses it, <laughs> completely loses it, which was great. But like always seeing like new like the reactions of. Not, and not necessarily just celebrities, but just like cosplayers and you know friends and whatnot. It's like, to me, that's what makes experiences. To me, like a convention and memories. Definitely you know? agree. That's it. Because it's Cause like this one, uh, I had her the whole time with us as, as a as a friend bringing bringing her in. So for you, what was your? Uh, you, I feel like you had a lot of different moments. Yeah, but yeah. What, uh, <laughs> what what was I your? Know, I was all over the place. I really like the panel of Ross MacIver. Because I really love her, and she's so adorable. She's just, she was super sweet. I just wanted to like take her and put her in my pocket because she was just <laughs> so cute. But I love the series too, so I've been a fan. For a yeah, long time. she was super cute. She was super teeny. I love her accent. Yes. <laughs> she can't. She she didn't understand how New Zealand's uh, accent was was voted sexiest accent in the world, and the panel like the everyone in the panel was like. Um, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. no. And we're like, I and uh, Aaron, your first Megacon, how? Oh, what was, was the nice. moment? I was working most of the time, oh. but uh, I still have to walk around. <laughs> yeah, I was still walk around. I enjoyed like every con I'm going, so it's, it was good. I mean, I enjoy all the cosplayers. Any I right? cosplay sometimes. So. Any one uh, moment or cosplayer like stand out to you? Uh, I like Thanos and Batman, so yeah. It was nice to see a lot of Batman and Thanos around here. Oh, yeah. Thor's. <laughs> Thor's. 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 Yeah, I know. Thor's, yeah. Thor's ruled this we agreed. Con, okay? Uh, Thor's no, they did. We agreed the, our first night that we said, okay, what's the one cosplay that's going to be like the, the well, not really cop-out, but like the go-to, like how Harley Quinn was and Fat Deadpool. Thor was the Harley Quinn of 2019. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. Exactly. And we did the Marvel and people, photo shoot. And people are mixing up. The, I already mentioned them up too. Yeah. Like there was, there was a fat Thor. Thanos walking around yeah. for a couple of days too, that was which was great. <laughs> he was dressed up as Fat Thor, but he put Thanos' head. Oh, on, that is too. Which was great. great. I'm like, oh right, they're already, they're already crossing yeah. everything. That. that is great. Yeah. So I did the Harry Potter meetups for the uh, photo okay. shoots, but I kept missing the Star Wars ones. I got lots of pictures with Star yeah. Wars people dressed up, but I didn't make the Star Wars photo shoot. Yeah. 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 So they were against really? other things that were happening during the panels or things like that. But, so you know, because there's Central Florida yeah. Slug Club and all the different meetups, so yeah. they were meeting up at 315, and then the one that Megacon had just put together was supposed to be at 330 on Friday and Saturday. So Friday, I wore Slytherin outfit, like that uniform in the robe and took the picture with everybody. And then Saturday, I wore my poor apron, but behind it, my t-shirt was the Hogwarts Running Club t-shirt. So that I could kind of just take that off and real quick sort of whatever. But it wasn't about being in the picture, it was about getting to see everybody. Everybody, right. So that was cool and, and that was, I had so many, 
like I don't have like a favorite one favorite moment because I have so many little favorite moments but that was kind of cool because and I know we've seen each other but I don't give a shit every time it's like all of y'all are like celebrities to me like I can't wait to see so and so dressed as da, da, da. you know like I see you just working in the park and well like, hey whatever but when you're dressed up you know Diego was Snape and I'm like hey it's oh, Snape you know so and Diane was yeah. Diane was uh, Dumbledore, Dumbledore but then she was also Elton John Elton which John. was so cool <laughs> I miss so yeah. yeah. so so no, her she made that thing I'm sorry oh no, and I'm, no, I'm sorry I too that was I was gonna say the after after our shoot on Friday it was supposed to be Marvel and there were all these Marvel people just hanging out <laughs> and they ain't like Central Florida slug club like they ain't got it together like Harry Potter, let's do this, you know. They were all just, nobody knows each other. They're like, who's in charge of this? I'm like, nobody's in charge of this. Y'all gotta get together. So ho- finally I holler out, hey, all Marvel people, come take a picture. And they all kept thanking me like, oh, thank you for organizing. I'm like, I don't organize shit, I just wanted, I <laughs> love taking <laughs> pictures of everybody. You have your like, delegated role for next year. <laughs> I guess. And then they all got together and I took, you know how Facebook will only let you upload on mobile phone like 30 pictures at a time? I had to do two sets of pictures because <laughs> I took so many pictures. I kept realizing there's another person, another. People were running in and jumping in a photo, yep. and the very last one, that was the our very last one, world. was Thor, and the whole crowd said, "Oh my God, we can't take the photo without Fat Thor or New Thor or whatever." Yeah. And he jumps in, and then everybody's got to get that photo again. I'm pretty sure people took the most pictures they ever took of one photo group. I got two photos of DC. I got 43 photos of Marvel. Even even at conventions, Marvel beats DC. No. Oh, (laughs) sorry. Well, listen. You know, he throws down like that just to challenge me, but (laughs) I really remember what you were going to say. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, I'm going to bring it You know what? I'm sorry. Look what's in front of you. Okay, well, here's the thing. You talk big talk for Marvel, and of course I love Marvel. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and cosplays for Marvel. Uh-huh. Because I want you to take a shot. I know. There we go. <laughs> you are not putting that in front of a Balrog. Yeah. It's all right. I know. But it's happening. If you think about it, DC brought a lot this year. DC they had did. their own booth. Yeah, DC, yeah. I mean, technically Linda Carter. And then Marvel you had... And then you had Batman. Batman, something that I don't think Marvel's any of us went to. Marvel's busy breaking three billion at the box office. <laughs> yeah, they sitting in an office. They don't need to come and get extra money at conventions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I well, finally no. got to see Stephen Amell. Ar- 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 Yay, Yay, finally. Yay. For me, that was a first. I saw him in person. Because I've seen Barrymore every time, and I've never got to I know, see right? Arrow, so, so I was like, yay, I'm a huge Arrow, Arrow fan. So, yeah. oh my so God. Well, it, it was really guy. interesting, though, honestly, to bring sorry, just to bring it back, but, like, you had... You had Stephen Amell, you had John Barrowman, you had Linda Carter, you had yeah. so many uh, people from the cast. from the DC side. But then yeah. you had something Sucker that none of us just something that none of us went to. Also, was the the Batman celebration, and that I was a, that so was a big landmark. You man. have comic book artists and writers for years. eighty years. Eighty All years. It's going to be huge at uh, New York because it's going to be right around it. Because I think it's in September that he actually turns yep. eighty. I think it's gonna yeah. be huge. I cannot wait. We have. I'm sorry. I can't believe we didn't you're make gonna that. have to DC with me, okay? It's I'm, gonna happen. Oh, I'm like, I almost said I don't have anything DC. Oops, Bane. <laughs> 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 Whoopsie. You have um, um, So John, really? Quick, I'm gonna uh, DC. So you're DC I know you with only, me. You only had one one day, really. But like, what was what was uh, as your first convention and first MegaCon? Like, what was your, your, your kind of standout moment today? That uh, I have. Two. <laughs> oh, you have, have two. That's cool. I have two. He does. Uh, <laughs> Meeting my part-time husband, um, I've declared that today. Your new uh, part-time Zach, husband, Zach Lee. My part-time husband, Zach Lee, and <laughs> meeting um, the evil the, queen because he's the evil queen, uh, Lana yeah. Perilla. Yeah, um, ah. she was funny. And getting her She's autograph, so sweet. and I, that was just they had like a good conversation, talk, right? We had a whole talk about Stitch, so of course Aww. I was in my element, and you know her <laughs> her friend next to her showed me her Stitch tattoo, and we all kind of. We just chilled casually. And, yeah, and we're like, like besties now. We're like Facebook friends. And, you know, that's not true. <laughs> I, I wish. It's but, Facebook yeah. official. <laughs> <laughs> I know we were talking about meetups, costume meetups. I know that one of our favorite moments, um, collectively. So we're we're critters, proud critters. Bidet critters. <laughs> uh, but for anyone who doesn't know, it's Critical Role. It's a Dungeons and Drag- yeah, Dragons was about podcast. To say, are you talking about the horror movie? Because no, I'm totally down no, with that. no. <laughs> I thought it was a new way to call them furries. Jess has a side note on that. Well, um, there was a whole 
horror um, horror film screenings, and which is brand new for them here. So I don't know if we can talk about that another they did, time. They did it last year too. Yeah, but this was a, yeah. But yeah, Critical big Role is a Dungeons and Dragons podcast um, by a lovely team of people out in California. Critical Role, look them up. They have, they they are they they're all about empowering yourself through. It's basically exactly our message, but specifically just with Dungeons and Dragons and the fact that it's something they unintentionally did. They yeah. just were a, a group of kids. Um, a bunch of nerdy. Uh, yeah, they I are can't self, say it. self-proclaimed a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors. She said it. <laughs> I'm quoting. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real quote. Yeah, so a, a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors coming together to play. Um, so yeah, there was there was a meetup. I've never had. I've never seen. In general. I've ne- maybe it's, I don't think it's because I've never man. paid attention. I've never seen as many Dungeons and Dragons tables and no. die and, and so many things no. down on the expo hall floor. Like it was crazy. It was it was, it was dangerous because yeah. so many die. Um, but <laughs> so I've also die? pulled you out. So many die. <laughs> die, like, die. Dice or die? Dice. Die. 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 Also, Critical Role has, has, uh, has a very large worldwide fan base, um, and they're known worldwide as the most positive. And I say this as a multi fandom like nerd, they have the most positive fan base I have ever encountered. Yes. Because their cosplayers and their artists are all embracive. That meetup up there, they were the sweetest people, and they were just always like. Right. Come here, come That's here, like, come, here. come in the photo, like. Every single time somebody and came on, we're like, oh, everybody's still coming. Come 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 yeah, come on, like, on. they were <laughs> the sweetest. And it, their, their meetup, like, it was the first time Critical Role really had, the Critters had a meetup um, in Orlando yeah, at Rick was, mm-hmm. So it was really beautiful. We, we actually, we were probably going to be doing a, a podcast with, with, our, with Critters, Orlando-based, um, soon. And it was, just, it was just really wonderful to see that positivity like radiate its way out into the world because it's, it's something that all of us that critter, are critters only experience digitally. So yeah. to see something, have that, that community come out into, into like real into life, something. in person, yeah. is beautiful. And uh, Ashford was there. She saw some of those cosplays and she's like, oh my God. Like no these are, yeah. yeah, anyone That's who awesome. would have walked by would have been like, what is this? Like their, their artists are phenomenal. Um, and now you have another one because you had a moment that we, we didn't even get to know what moment happened with uh, yeah, the lovely Sean Astin. Mm-hmm. Well, one of my absolute favorite moments was at, was ex- attending the Critical Role meetup because yes, collectively. we are trying re- very much to bring that to the Megacon experience. So Megacon, if you're hearing us, please bring the Critical Role cast here. Um, it will really be a life-changing thing for so many people. So do try and Your do that. Your audience will like... I grow you intensely. You have I no idea how much crazy. you will grow. Um, um, I've spent, you know, I th- I had wanted to meet a very few people in my life. I am a huge DC fan in the long run, but my life and a collective um, experience, my entire family has been the Lord of the Rings trilogy, the oh, Tolkien nice. world, which we're working on Salador. our Celador podcast yeah. uh, with Lewis Lacow here, and it's really very much embedded in my DNA. So um, last year we got to meet. Um, Elijah, Elijah Wood. Wood and I didn't you know think I lost that my eye I lost in, I got you lost. got lost we, we all got lost in his eyes I can't even like, muster uh, the words still still <laughs> one year later and you don't understand what it is to look into that man's eyes no, I just couldn't even express you to you the soul yeah you do but he like, sees into you your soul they are precious yes <laughs> Oh, geez, the puns. The puns. The puns. <laughs> Somebody the puns. had to. Nobody was stepping up on that one. <laughs> Leave so, it to William. Leave it to William. So, two of my favorite experiences for this con was absolutely was meeting Zach Levy, who I we've adored as a, as a trio, a my man. son, my daughter, and myself now forever. What a gentle He's giant. Taken. <laughs> Did you see his panel? <laughs> I, I couldn't. No, we oh my god, his panel was so good. And he spent the whole entire time just gushing on and on about how awesome all these things have been in his life. And nice. he touched on like a lot of topics and people would ask him stuff direct. And he, he shared about hard things he'd gone through. And he also, um, you good on time? Uh, it's almost 30 minutes. That's okay. good. Keep going. Keep he, was, um, he was just very... Um, 
gen you know, talked about having Genuine. joy in your life and, and yes. trying to, you know, impress said, upon Tom. people yeah, to yeah. not yeah. feel bad, to try to feel young, to try to feel happy or look for things. You know, when you have those bad moments too or get angry or whatever, but then he says people point that out to him that you're just so silly all the time. And he could have, close, towards the close of his panel, he was talking about people should, you know, well, you get older and you don't have time or energy or patience to be silly. And you should just once in a while find it in you to be silly. You know, yeah. just have a little bit of fun yeah. about something once in a while. It'll, exactly. it'll make you even feel better. And he yes. talked about not so much like, he, you know, he says he believes too. that there's a creator. So he yeah. talked about God in a sense, but somebody asked him about a line, oh, I'm, so, I'm spacing now about pearly gates and saying what would you say but it was in in response to a character that he did i don't know why i'm forgetting now it's okay peter whatever but mm -hmm. it, yeah. and he was saying that he didn't focus on i love him so much because just personal i don't believe in hell sorry whoever does and i don't and i loved his response to saying that he didn't think that not the god wasting time on certain things but to say like if we instead of spending your life focusing on are you, are you going to make the cut? Are you going to get to the pearly gates? Or are you going to, why don't you just be about the joy that you have and the happy things and good things? Do it because it makes things good right now. Yeah. And don't, that. and you will make the future better by focusing on being happy and bringing your joy to yourself, but to others yeah. around you and what's best for everyone, but what's also take care of yourself. And I just thought that was so cool. I almost cried. And this girl, motivational she cried she was crying telling him how much she thought he was just such a genuine special person yeah. and that was his response to that too Aww. like you know you sh we should all just try to be oh you know that was like that outstanding that's moment segue, of all though. the panels that's, that's a perfect well, segue because that's what cons are all about it's about community <laughs> it's about coming together like we all do and with all the different groups every single day we meet up with different groups and we hang out with them you run into somebody suddenly that you hadn't seen in a year it's like you never skipped a beat it's right there and then you could go right back to that moment that you were last community year. And, and that is perfect because like i was gonna say before like this megacon has been like the best megacon i've been to oh, yeah and it's in terms not, of community. not just like for the experience and the community but i've moved to new york since the last megacon mm -hmm. i haven't seen you guys on a regular basis like i used to but just walking the floor and like seeing people or hearing my name being called and mm -hmm. gravitating with each other running into people like it's like connection we i ran into more people without being there or trying to like where are you than yeah. like when people like be like where are you and mm -hmm. it it made me feel so much at home again like and like you said like like but i hadn't been gone with us, but the fact that they, everybody took yes. time to and stop and say hi to each other like, met new people made new friends yeah. It's 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 great. This and, is John's and, first experience getting that actually at all, and mm -hmm. I think you can kind of yeah. talk to that. The fact that we were constantly right running yeah. into okay. somebody, oh, running into constantly, <laughs> constantly, and that's the great thing about. And the I community. introduced you to so many people that you never oh, actually got yeah. to meet. <laughs> you know what? In another small word, like I'm a Jasmine Beckett Griffith fan, oh, the yeah. artist, and then I've been uh, uh, collecting the pins. And then apparently there's a whole pin trading collecting world, so I had to get all into that. This <laughs> we don't have time. No, Good lord. No. Yeah. But it's kind of cool to run into the same so you, fans you and you see each other. That was kind of like we only see each other when we go to like Cons. an event that right. Jasmine's at or something. So that was really cool. That community, I was like, that wow. connection. Definitely. That so and I the think, Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah I think so to wrap up, um, what was your quick best experience uh, or person that you experienced so i know that joe t wanted well, me to talk saw. about yeah like, she i mean we did ago, but yeah. for me um obviously i was like going into my experience with sean Aston because of how important it has always been and as you know it's still important so i had a very unexpected what go ahead yeah just say we, we waited a long time to see him uh, very long time and <laughs> almost didn't she, she almost didn't stay and then and uh, unexpected, everyone was like, everyone was like, no, you have to hurry up, you have to hurry up. They, they, he's really, really, really quick. And then we talked to him. He he wrote the the positive message, message. The, the positive message that we always do, um, which was there is some good in this world, obviously. Yeah. Um, I didn't even read it. That's to tell you how in, how 
yeah. mesmerized yeah. I was in those moments. And he talked about how uh, he talked about his wife and how she makes a choice. It's all it's all about a choice, making a choice every day. How much loss she's gone through and grief that she still goes through, but she makes a choice every single day. And I don't know what it was. There's some connection or what happened, but they took a whole a moment. He called her back actually. Yeah, he actually called me back to the table. Um, and I won't share it. I, you know, normally I share everything with you guys. I really do. But it was extremely personal. And mm. I couldn't... For me, um, he must have... He had to have seen whatever it was through my eyes in the moment that I went to shake his hands when everyone was leaving the table and he pulled me back over. And he said, I will tell you this. He said, you know, I love you. I love who you are. I know it's strange that I'm saying that to you. He said, but I can see your soul. And I can see who you are. And I want you to know this. And he went on to tell me everything. And in those moments is when you saw him embrace me. That's wow. what you guys were seeing. And he held me the entire time. Yeah, it was a good wow. couple of minutes. And he was telling me something very, 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 very um, specific. That's and incredible. I didn't. I didn't ask him for anything. That. Yeah, that was... It Not We, we all. had literally all we had walked away, left. and then yeah. we were like, what? And we turned around, <laughs> and she was still there, hugging, and he was hugging her, and we were like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. He um, was so, that's it, amazing. It was almost like the spiritual bond. Now, I'm not kidding you when I say that because teary-eyed. I think you undone. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So you're getting teary eyed. But yeah, no, it's definitely. Yeah. We get it. <laughs> no, I'm losing my voice actually. But um, I think it kind of actually lends really quick. I know, not on topic, but um, to the connection that, that, that the fellowship actually had it, as yeah. actors. You can tell that, that there is really that that personality about all of them as actors. And it's anybody that does like a series. Say, like, oh my even God, if it's we just Lord of the Rings, it's Harry Potter now. as well. It's what all the other series. We met all four. Oh Sorry. my God! Wait, <laughs> revelation moment. Sorry, guys. We've met all the hobbits. We met all the hobbits. <laughs> yes. <sighs> okay. Um, Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I apologize. Go ahead. One, Sorry. <laughs> one does not simply meet all the hobbits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think it's a wonderful thing woo! having that that friendship and that bond throughout that was, multiple <laughs> multiple years of filmmaking and stuff like that, like the Harry Potter series or the Lord of the Rings series. And that creates that same bond that, just like you, Nisha said, you're able to see into people's eyes. Actors are able to see that. That's one of the reasons that they're able to portray different people's characters. And an actor like John Aston, it's he is a freaking amazing actor. And you could tell that he puts his heart and soul into each of the roles He's that he plays. Such a sweet, such oh a sweet God. man. Um, um, from Ruby yeah, yeah, to, ahead, to Lord ahead, of the Rings. He's a nice guy. When he left the table, the end of the day, he starts signing all the cruel uh, sh- t-shirts. Yeah, I saw oh, all the shirts. Saw, <laughs> yeah, the he was signing everyone. Wow. And then he left. He was That's like, beautiful. bye to everyone. He was so nice. That's wow. That's wonderful. That's incredible. <laughs> I would have taken off my shirt. If you don't mind. In there. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm I know. Clock. I'm dying. <laughs> 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 I'm I have this, so we have a bigger team than usual with us uh, doing our con wrap-up. So I know we're running a, a little bit longer than normal. So thank you, you all for sticking with us. <laughs> We will not edit that out. Um, <laughs> so thank you for sticking with us. I'm going to do a quick rapid fire, if you don't mind, as a, uh, your favorite find for everyone. But quick, literally just a, this thing. Um, I would say like favorite find wasn't even like was my pure accident. I did also today, and I found a beautiful pen, which is actually I was walking around with Miss Argentina, and it's Miss Argentina pen. Which is absolutely beautiful. That's so cool. cool. for you. Good oh, the, the whole pen the whole thing. We're not getting into it. No, we're not. All <laughs> oh, that's a huge no, we got story. Three, but it was incredible. We got three story. pins, so yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm lucky I got all of them. We so. might have so you on to talk about it also, another time. I found my favorite story. Thank you, yes, favorite dang. Yes. Really nice. That's what you have I'm to have. I'm a dank find. You found the bombshell artist. You found that. Yes, I got to meet the bombshell writer, and I was really super excited, and I told her, please never stop because I love it way too much. Yes. It has clean up, it has an amazing story, it's everything that I can ask for. So and I'm like, please never Was stop. Was that your favorite find? Yes. And then the ticket stuff and then everything that I found. <laughs> that was the main one. <laughs> number one. Aaron, did you have anything favorite find? Oh uh, yeah, there was a back signal that changed lights oh. and the poster oh. that night Joker. Oh. Yeah, I think that was good. Nice. Cool. Half a prize actually. Oh, yeah, John, 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 yeah. Aaron, Aaron, John, next time, next time, okay, right sorry, here. Next time. that's my favorite of his finds, 
I love. And I'm gonna steal it. This <laughs> artist <laughs> rendition. Probably. Probably. Really it's not filled. It's relocating. Remember. <coughs> you mm, need to have a, a mural of it <laughs> put up on the wall. <laughs> you don't understand. Yeah, most likely uh, this isn't that? gonna be. You his just don't understand. <laughs> this is Gogeta. Yes. Yes, it is. This is my life. This is. You like Godzilla? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a topic for another day. Oh. <laughs> Kaiju love. Okay, now oh you got to be funny. Still, still so, speaking so, of. Wait, wait, you guys, speaking of. What was your favorite fight? Hold on, hold on. What, what was it say? Well, Let's go. Versus John. John, 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 yeah. I didn't, didn't get any. <laughs> I didn't get it because the I had to that control myself. But I found these. Wizarding World wands, and they were very uniquely made, and they would make them based on, like, you would get your wand based on your day and month of birth and your eye color, and I, I think your knees got them. Huh. But they, they, they were gorgeous. What? Well, did, what? I didn't find. I didn't one. know that. She, yeah, they was, are She got artwork, end. and she got they stuff. At the end. Oh my god. I, I can see that. Torn Yours. away from that because <laughs> I had to hurt myself a little bit, but it was yeah. You know, you just made beautiful. A very, a very, you, a very so big dip into your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> proud of you. You're so, so proud of you. Did you get anything? You know what, guys? This is my first con I have bought. Buy not anything. one thing. That's because what? I bought her <laughs> thing. Suck <laughs> 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 she bought everything. <laughs> yes, it I bought it. never happened, thing, as you well know. So, um, and Danny I tried Hawks. too. I tried because I was looking for a, to buy. I walked around the really? past two hours looking for a Game of Thrones shirt because I got one Game of Thrones shirt. I'm like, I'm gonna get a nice one. The series is ending. You know, could not mm. find the one that I like. You know, I found your around looking for pops. Oh. I did too. I, found <laughs> I looked around for Game of Thrones stuff, not I didn't for myself. Think about that but there wasn't really that in. much this year. It's crazy. It's weird. I found the life size nippler. Um, <laughs> person. I don't okay. think I can choose one thing. Um, Danny, wow. no, well, Jenny she got Hoss. me something. I got her many things, yes. actually. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I Danny did Hoss. get my pin, Where's which is pin? not on me. But. I'm going to keep oh. saying his name. Danny Haas. Danny Haas. Beautiful Haas. artist. H-A-A-S, um, people, please. He he actually has a, a set of Hamilton pins that are gorgeous. Oh. His pins are like unlike any other pins you've ever, you will ever oh, encounter in your life. Um, his Hamilton pins. Gorgeous. I got the, the, the David Diggs, the, the one that says immigrants, immigrants we get, we get the, the job, job done. done. Oh, um, I saw that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I saw beautiful. it. On, uh, oh, you saw his suit? Yes. Wonderful. Um, I think I think that's pretty much that. That's a, that's a great wrap up for I wanted us. to say to Dan Fogler, uh, Dan you Fogler? also went on and on about how he He's an amazing loved his, <laughs> his He's an amazing job pod. and how grateful he was. He and did, how much did he not? The fans make yeah. him, uh, you know. A He's a fantastic beast. He was giving out tickets nah, to yeah. Regal 40X. I was like, oh, to everyone nice. that did the Q&A, I was like, what? what? Oh, really? Had, had make <laughs> That's it. so nice of him. Line. Well, we left um, before right that. We left right before, before his, that. Oh, his my God. His favorite animal, he said, was, oh, no, from Fantastic Beast, was. Niffler? No. no okay. And he <laughs> said, not the Niffler, because he would steal things all the time and tear <laughs> everything up, and he wouldn't be able to keep up with it. It starts with a G, the. That, that walks with the one that he gets going to the future. Oh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Oh my god, oh, sacrilegious! I don't know what it is. So, <laughs> we okay. don't know, but not the name. But I just yeah. thought that was kind of cool. Know, that it, so, that ready to wrap animal. up. This is some of the beautiful artwork that Lewis found over the weekend, and oh my I god. I swore I wasn't going to spend money, but then I saw these things that That's I what I said too. Oh and my god. We both said the same. Just <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Um, she picked up a lot of critical role. She got me new dice, guys. I did. That she was couldn't my help first it. purchase. Was I didn't even purchase. get them from me. Have... No, okay, Diverse Geek, you can find us on all social media platforms. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And um, you can find uh, us at manbytesmedia.com. Man 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 bites bites and if you're listening to this podcast, you probably already know where to find it, but you can find it other places as well. Or if you're watching this video, you can find our podcast on podcast streaming sites. <laughs> yes. Every one of them, pretty much. Yeah. Everyone and we else. will speak about the Linda Carter experience at a, at a separate show. In yeah. case you want to know why we didn't talk about Speaking it. Speaking of Godzilla, keep up for that. That's and gonna then be the one that. of our next meetups, by the way. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. All right, guys. Bye from Megacon 2019. I love you.